Hello and welcome to the Red Bull Rise of the Elements Invitational. 16 players entered this arena yesterday, but now only eight remain. Everyone is in costume today. And Rakeen, I'm still trying to figure out, are you a cowboy or are you like one of the Canadian Rangers? You're just, just rocking the hat. I like it. And next to him, we have definitely not disguised Toast. Who is that? I have no idea who he is. Just it's toast, definitely not Toast. Ha, <laughs> this guy's Toast. All right, we're jumping in. I'm going to hyper roll lights, so if you guys go lights, we're both screwed, okay? I'm just saying. I'm at, I'm at zero wins. I got nothing to lose. <laughs> what? I'm hyper rolling lights, Hafu. You think I'm bluffing? I am mean, bluffing. I'm not bluffing either. You have more to lose. You got one win already. <laughs> Why are you looking at me, Hafu? <laughs> <laughs> what, no one wants a bow? Ah, <laughs> oh, this is free real estate. Freak, we are indeed into game number three, making it that much closer to finding out who will be taking away not just the crown and the biggest fault, the prize, but the good old jacket that they're talking about. <laughs> Yeah, on Vane, on my three-star Vane. Hearing people gush about the hyper roll strategy and Toast is like, I tried that game one. I'm calling it. I'm doing it from now on. And so, the mind game's already happening. The new Void Assassin. Four dollars off a uh, common is pretty good. LeBlanc allows Ivern and Maokai early game. Oh, I got Nasus. <laughs> Uh, you know, three people can theoretically complete three-star veins and stuff like that, and the number kind of drops from there uh, pretty heavily. <laughs> so realistically, one person's going to do it. And you can already hear that Hafu and Becca calling out that they pick up a light. Hey, what, what's, what's he doing? What's he doing? Wait, he has a vein too! Oh, what? Right. Sure, kid. He's got a photo of picking lights, picking lights. He's like a quiet ninja, man. Oh, Light? I'm gonna get fucking light. Fuck these guys. I'm playing light. I'm playing light. God, you already got thing two already? Holy... Wait, wait. Becca has one vein. I'm never selling it, dude. Wait, actually, no, no, no. If we hold the veins, the other, like, light... Are you going this? No, no, I'm not. I'm not. Wait, he's got a vein and a Nasus ready. I'm just saying. Mm. Oh, I found a vein. It's over. All right. Oh, you sold it. Let me. T okay. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna donkey roll for it. Oh, he's got jacks as well. Oh, this is so lame. No. Oh yeah, I wasn't joking when I said I'm going light. <laughs> okay, light early on is pretty bad. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just inting for an early pick. Maybe I should be running Woodland first? What? Wait, what's going on here? Oh. Super JJ has the uh, triple two stars. Becca in toast. Becca was really close to getting that first place finish last time, but oh, man. couldn't quite find the answer to light, light where toast, we know that's what he's going for, already throwing that bow onto the vein. 
He, he called it as well before getting into the lobby, so I think... Way before anyone even had a chance to try to call it. He said, hold up. I think he That's also mine. has claims as the, uh, the hipster of rolling light, as he did it, I think, in game one of Heat 1, so... He at least has that going for him. Mm. All right, get Jax. That's four lights. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can hear him just getting excited about rolling into it because he's got the Nasus working for him, too, right now. Yep. Can you see what uh, if he is going to commit to it, you probably want to sell some stuff off here um, in order to get above 20 gold, maybe giving up on the woodland portion um, if you are, really are committed already. Yeah, four light onto the board currently, and I feel like the smile on his face means that he'd rather lean into the cheese and try and full commit to it, risk the potential early out if necessary, but also a potential big payoff with the win. Yeah, we'll have to see going up against Holy Thoth, who uh, was the get victor in game one, didn't have quite as much success in game two. And he's just going for the classic woodland opener as well as uh, has a Malzahar. One of the strongest units in the set so far, it seems like. Shadow's strong, Summoner is strong, a strong ability. Uh, just all around a really powerful unit in the early game that you usually keep to late game. I think the Ooh, fact that he spawns multiple early picks compared picks. to some of the other summoners. Oh, he wants the cloak. I know he does. Oh, he doesn't. I want the cloak, though. For Hurricane. What's Keen running? Oh, he's got four lights, too? Wait, Halfway, you're not going lights anymore? Oh, no. I'm competing against Keen for lights. Should I be hard for some lights? So you saw this guy's toast there grab the Negatron cloak. That's really useful for this light strategy, being able to get the um, Runan's Hurricane, which is curve bow, as well as with a spatula a unit into light, or just get more damage for your vein is, is really powerful. What? He has 50 gold. How does he have this much money? Even with like, oh yeah, lights against light, let's go. My Maokai should heal for a lot, though. I think my Nasus is Iceborne Gauntlet is broken or something. Is my Iceborne Gauntlet bug? He's not stuck. I swear to God, it's not working. It's gonna be the Hyper Oh, King got Jax too. Okay. We're gonna let King roll first. And after he's done rolling, we're gonna roll. Dude, he won a fight. That's good for us. Because we have we're farming a lost streak right now. Oh my god, that Diana. No. I need to sell the Nasus and put the ice point on. <laughs> Is King rolling? Oh, he's rolling now. Should I be rolling with him? Oh, he, he's rolling, he's rolling. I can see him rolling. You know what? We're gonna big brain here. We're not gonna roll. We're gonna let him waste his roll. So. Oh my god, look at all those lights. It's okay, it's okay. I'll use Econ to win. Okay, let, we can roll a little bit. Oh my god. Hmm, what happened to all the light units? Okay, 
we're, we're, we're like the econ king here. Oh my god, he's got so much pain. Hmm, maybe I should transition. I release them. Can I transition? And we'll take a look at this guy's okay, Toast to see how his hyper roll went. I assume he went for it as well. There's a three star. How, how'd it go, for Toast? I, I have light units. They're all level one, one still. <laughs> Oh, so and you spent all your gold. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm, I'm saving my gold. Oh, okay. I'm long game. You're going for the rerolls for all the three star ones. Yeah, three he can have ones. the one star, and I'll take the three star. Okay. <laughs> but Keen did get his vein to a three star, so he's already what taken care of that. What? This is what happens when <laughs> no one else goes light with me. We had a deal, guys. <laughs> now he has a three star vein. Giving away a little information there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, who knows? There's doesn't not guaranteed. You have to remember, you know, Hafu did end up with four, three uh, three star units, three gold, four gold units. So she was she was very very strong even beyond just the vein. But yeah, and this she didn't is get good... the vein till later. Actually, she didn't finish off her three star. I think till partially. When right. It was it was it was it was it was the NASA she hit right away. Um, so this is a good test game to see just how strong the strategy actually is. Especially when looking back on it, you're talking about it when we were on the patio. We just heard Free iterating that as okay, well that going. it was the Roland hit Druid, six Ranger. that really made the big spike. So even if oh, everyone's trying big to brain go for here. that full build, if you don't make it to nine, there's still a lot of plays, especially in conjunction with the okay. right item. This is the hard switch to Hyper Rope Berserker. No one's gonna see it coming. Hoffa was saying she was at 17 health and then did her second big reroll, which is kind of the one Tosa is saying he's saving up for. Uh, you see he has a really oh, yeah. nice it's loss streak going on, <laughs> seven. He's still above 50 health, so he's, he's not under pressure yet. And he'll probably just try and stay, uh, get to level seven to do your reroll, because if you start getting much higher than that, you start losing chances right, at this second. Everyone's so strong except me. Three cost units actually stay at the same from seven onwards, I believe, unless the mass change on me. Uh, so it doesn't super matter for those, but some of the other ones you'll lose out on. Dude, King's gonna be a problem. Okay, I'm taking 10. I can probably lose one more fight. No freaking spatula! Freaking, freaking, freaking. Why is the never spatula when I need it? Holy crap. I think we have to transition. As much as I hate to admit it, I think if we stay on this plan, we're gonna, we're gonna die. So taking a look back in here for Toast, he's still working with that vein. Ah, I think he heard his name peeking on over this way, but he's still sticking with the same strat that he's... Let me think, chat. Let me think. He's in a... Okay. Am I going light? Let me think. Okay. Oh sure, his iceborne gauntlet triggers a hundred times per second. Uh, you know what? Ten damage each turn is fine. I want to transition to Yasuo, Mountain Mage. Okay, okay, chat. It's, it's fine. It's fine. We're gonna come back so hard in this game, it's gonna be crazy. Like, you're gonna be like, holy crap, I can't believe he turned it around. What aren't people buying? People aren't buying summoner. What else this guy is? Becca. What's Becca have?
Oh, can I win this? Can I win this? Okay, you know what? Keeping that last streak, it's fine. It's fine. Why, why is this? What is this? What am I looking at? Okay. No. Nobody ever goes for Rangers. I'm holding on to this I have search. Chat, I'm desperate. I'm pretty sure it's too late for me to transition. <laughs> Wait, how did my bang die? What the flippity flip? Oh wow, I can want to fight. I can win. Bluffing about the light. I wasn't. When I said I was gonna go light, I meant. Is Kindred? Um. I can't really put in Kindred. <laughs> Alright, we have a light versus light situation here. Yes! No, that rage blade home. <laughs> <laughs> so it was double hurricane two star vein versus the rage blade three star and the thing that really hurt him there was there's was actually a healing debuff on top of his vein so when one of his units died post his vein didn't get the heal that you normally get quite from the light buff so can you, can you, se can you sell it a little unfortunate but he is at six light so at least he's he's starting to to get there and he's also starting to roll down as well uh see how far he wants to go he's at level seven like which i was saying was one of the key things to look at doesn't want that Lux, he does not want the Woodland. There is one more Aatrox, we'll see if he wants to grab it. It's one of those things too where as you roll down, realistically are you going to get the 3 star? Because that's that's economy that's sitting on your bench that might never do anything. Uh, which feels really bad late game when, when you never hit those 3 star units, so you have a bunch of uncombined stuff on your bench. Um, yeah, when you're holding onto your gold like that, you're really hoping that by the time it does come time to spend, you have something to try and direct that towards. Yeah, you Sometimes can, you end up in a mess. Right, it's, it's it's like an investment for your future. You're saying, okay, I'm going to eventually complete these, so it won't be gold. Whereas sometimes you just sell your whole bench and you say, my gold will earn me more gold. Is that a Nasus with the spatula on the carousel that I see? That is indeed. Ooh. Is Toast going to... A couple spatulas, so... I'm not going for it. Uh, it was, it's tempting because it'll pop, if you have a Negatron cloak and you exactly. put it on, it'll pop off. But, uh, like I was saying, if you don't get no the Lux, you heck? don't really need to go for 9. Uh, why, why so you can just summoners? save it and go for something else. Yeah, why would I go Spatula? 
Oh, it's spatula. Yeah, I think Rakeen actually grabbed it, and he already has a spatula, so he's going to get a force of nature off this carousel, which is going to feel pretty good for him. So if you have a cloak, you mean a gloves and a sword? That's actually not a cloak. I might transfer the items over to Ash, but Vayne gains benefit from light. I like Toast's idea here. He puts the Death Blade on Vayne. Uh, every time it assists or kills a unit, it will stack up and deal more damage. And with double Runans, she'll be hitting three targets at a time. So it's a very high chance that she'll be able to kill a lot of units over the course of the game, or at least help. Double BF into that, so some extra damage for her also is mm -hmm. not something you're ever going to complain about somewhere. when you're trying to build up your carry. <laughs> Yeah, you see he has the, the uh, Ash as his second ranger to help supplement and give give Vayne more attack speed. And he seems pretty strong, just tore right through Holy Thought. Oh, yeah. Didn't seem to have any issue at that point. That's, so that's, why I went that's a pretty Come hefty on. hit for a Holy Thoth at this point, too. Nasty is interesting. Nasty is very interesting. Yeah, shout Ian. No, Ash would be out for Kindred and E would be in at 8. I don't know how good Master E would be, but I think we need at least E2. Oh my god, that Renekton. Oh, holy crap! Renekton with the uh, Rabadon Deathcap. I think. Stop giving me one room. Yeah, hello. The second Woodland Lux in a row that yeah, gotten, right? it's, it's not very helpful. I'm trying to think. A lot to do. Can Master E be the carry I need? Are you gonna fail off light? Uh, no, I'd still keep it. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to think, like, even if I three-star anything here. Push 42. It's probably not going to work out. Keen has a lot of the light stuff. Guys, if I die, all that light becomes available for Keen. You need to keep me alive. <laughs> Toast working the politics game saying, don't kill me, I have light units, which Keen wants. Making his best argument here. Better than... Oh, Ooh, that's nice. No. Can you go into PD? Some nice items. Uh. Uh. Nope. Uh. Nope. Yeah, we just watched him do the roll. You picked up the two-star uh, Yorick as well as picked up a Tarek and put that on your board. What kind? Of a position. How would you describe your position right now? Bad. 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 But I mean, it's not only bad for you; it's bad for everyone. Bad for else. everyone. The second I die, King's gonna get every light unit three starred. So I mean, Super JJ, that's who you're playing up against. So it's just a uh, maybe the board wants you to win as well. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh, okay. I, uh, oh. Ooh, your ash is untouched. Oh, yeah. Um, one thing. Yes. Nice. Yes. Nice. Okay, we got this. Nice. Okay, everyone can take a deep sigh of relief after that. What else can you potentially look for? Nice. Gotta be done. It's gotta be done. Gotta do it. Gotta be done. Do it. There's the three star for the Aatrox. All right. I'm very interested to see who you play up against next and how you're going to match up against them. I'm just, oh man. Okay, let's find out who it is. The only thing I can do is like swap the vein item, but I think mm -hmm. we're, we're kind of committing to vein. Mm -hmm. Back up, please! I know, I don't have to want you to die, but I don't want to do damage, so. What? Her ice bar already reached my ash and vein. Yeah, that's why I bought her up too. What? For the light players. I'm yeah, traumatized by the lights, dude. Choo -choo -choo, choo -choo. 
Go, Vink! Auto attacking! Come on, Sue! Vink, I hit something important, dude! Wait, you don't want to kill me, oh, Becca! Yeah, right, but this is too much damage! Ooh, the lights in the Aatrox keep a toast in the game. <laughs> Casters, how much longer is he going to stay alive? Uh, I would guess quite a while. The three-star Aatrox as well did a ton of damage in that fight. It Who almost matched the vein. People kind of tunnel on the vein. Uh, <laughs> I think we want Cloud, Cloud for sure. is better than Crystal. I'm stuck. Essentially, I'm stuck. This is it. No, it's light versus light. Ooh, Aatrox! Yes! Alright, guys, can't kill Keen. He has all my veins. Uh, no, I have a Cloud Lux. Oh, no, it's going to keep. <laughs> oh, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's one not HP separating don't Keen mean. and Toast, but the board positioning for the carousel favored Toast. He had the inside track to pick up the force of nature. Everything's going Toast way right now. Whoa, whoa. Do I, what do I put in? Yeah. <sighs> Yo, Ty's a real homie. So toast comp, we know. I was I was talking to some of the other people during the the break as well, saying you don't actually need the lux, the light lux. You know, just getting cloud and mystic and some of these other buffs makes it so your heals become more effective because you take less damage when you heal. It takes longer to deal that damage again. So it's as good as getting bigger heals or dealing more damage because you're increasing your survivability through other means. Yeah, and even looking at the light builds, how different they are. Toast oh, with the clouds, with the mystic, much more survivability and sustainability, whereas on the opposite end, oh, you saw that he was kind of going heal. under damage. Thoth right now still holding his own. Mundo just goes down, and his carries are alive in the back, which with that two-star and two static shit. Yeah, I mean, the Twitch did a lot of damage there, but every time he kills a unit, oh just heals God. them all back. So, unfortunately, Holy Foth going to get taken out again there by Toast, the high roll light of the lobby right now. Oh, and Keen ended up getting knocked out. So, oh, the oh, master we'll relive that moment. The master politicker Toast convinced them all to uh, not kill him so Keen doesn't get his units, but now Toast is going to get Keen's units. Liberate. Jenna, 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 Jenna. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> so now Toast has so much more that he can hopefully select from on his bench because he's only at two HP still. He can't afford to lose a single game going through the rest of it. Yeah, I mean, I think at this point you're, you're just re-rolling and hoping you're finding units from uh, Keen's light units, but he's pretty far away from any upgrade. He's dodging everybody. Vein, but the pool and the percentages are so bad at this level. Oh, yeah. Really nice gen ult, though. And you see the vein already at five stacks, six stacks. It's just gonna get worse and worse. It's gonna win this one. Up and up and up on them stacks. <laughs> <laughs> Afu losing to the monster she created. Yeah, that's. It almost feels like you're only allowed a single good light game, and Afu got that last time. Gets knocked out right now. Mage cap. No, this, is, this is the worst. The consequence of a low HP lobby That's when so many of them were single digit. Oh, no. Yeah, Toast finally, finally uh, getting a little unlucky. Finds a mage cap, which there's unfortunately no light mages, so not going to have any value there. Yeah, and there's nothing that he can do to try and force it for at least the item. The one thing it does do, I believe, is it still gives the um, bonus mana regeneration. No, it's, sorcery mana. Mana. it's just 20? It's just 20. Just flat 20. It's a tier. It's a tier that you can't combine with. All right, never mind. It's Garbo. 
It does not give the sorcerer a double mana generation buff that we had last set, so. Yep. No. 20 mana. <laughs> just Woo. slap that stat onto somebody, really. What did everyone else get, I wonder? I saw someone got a light the buff. Um, I'm not sure who that went on, though. Not onto a light player, I'm assuming, because I think Toast is the only light one left here. Yeah, Becca did indeed get that light buff. Uh. That toe switches, he could trigger. <gasps> I mean, I don't think at this point he's really relying on the nine anyway. You're at two HP, so you have to focus on optimizing the comp that you have now, since there's no time to try and stretch into that. Yeah, I mean, like I said, you're just spending what little gold you get every time, hoping you find another Lux, hoping you can maybe find those veins. He did pick up one of the Luxes, so he's one away from the two star Lux. Uh, but I think, you know, he feels like he's in such a good spot. But we'll see about JJ's Twitch. I don't know, that's such a big dunk by the HR. Oh, thank God. Cassie's man in rage. Ooh, that looks old. Yeah, three items onto this two star Kazik, so enough with his jump around. He's gonna end up going down now. Yeah! Becca, you remember losing to light in the top two situation? Wait, wait, no, you beat my clone though. Oh, so I. Wait. Uh oh. <laughs> Becca killed one light player already in King. Wait, wait, wait. That, that was a major upgrade. Boom. All right. Lux 2. Snuff out the light. That's what Becca's trying to do. Yeah, hopefully we can get a look at Becca's board to see exactly what she's working with. It's the foreshadow, two mystic, two cloud. Um, light versus dark, anyone? Anime cliche. Anime. Becca, bring him into the shadows. Toast trying to light the shadows away. Big boy Scion still doing work across multiple games here in the Invitational. And funnily enough, it was Becca who got the spatula light item. Yeah, so a little extra magic boost. God, that Iceborne gauntlet. It's been terrorizing you since the beginning. How does it reach? Not a great Lux all shot, just the summon. Yeah, Lux got yeah. the, the Malzahar summon. Voidling's the only one's getting that. There's the Janna Hall. There's a Nami ult. But everyone's so spread on the board, so it only went down yeah, probably. Yeah, Vayne's untouched in the corner. I Lux, stop opting now the hard minion. No, how are we going to win? I hate the light. Oh, my god. Oh. So in the end, it didn't even matter that most of Lux's ults were going onto the summoned pets that were happening. Yeah, that's one of the like, things yeah. when you're looking late games, you have to analyze, like, how well did that fight go for I me? I think from Toast's perspective, you say, Zion. that fight actually wasn't that great with, with how those Lux ults went. Uh, and I still won. So Becca's going to need to find a way to claw into this. She doesn't really have any money left. Uh, she's looking for a Nami upgrade. Potentially a Vigar 3 would be really big if she can find it because then you just start one-shotting through the, the healing uh, as well as finding a Scion 3. And with the way that the spread is happening with the positioning from Toast, then I think a lot of that single unit elimination as much as possible. Because we saw the Nami ult, for instance. Everyone was spread to all different corners, so you can oh only get so God, much value from that. Scion <laughs> A good position yes, by Becca to try and put the, put the uh, the slow field so it gets onto the vein. Uh, she doesn't have any backline threats, so no assassin or anything. Janna heals in a reach vein, it sounds like. Not quite. Janna's still really far in the back, and Aatrox is trying to go and take care of that. He's really low, though, so. Light coming, Becca. Uh, oh, like... the Lux sold onto Kindred. Oh, this is not looking good for Becca right now. Ooh. Any Vigars in here? No. This is going to be the... Ooh. Can't get a Nami upgrade, but you don't get a completed item. No, no, no. GA is a solid item, I think, to put on anyone, really. Mm -hmm. Especially because you saw some of the face-off of the positioning is sending a lot of just those tankier units back-to-back. -back. Yeah, I just... No, I it feels like because of how long the fights are and the healing, I don't know if the res does yeah. enough. It feels Wait, like they are just going to get popped as soon as they res up, right. but... Find yeah, she, she already completed the Nami, so it didn't, didn't actually matter. <laughs> So they're both changing up position like quite a bit. Yeah, so she got the Nami with the, the single item and Toast got the, the GA. That'll be actually pretty useful on him. I think the, the heal still goes off even if you get popped. I'll need to check that because otherwise you might just be denying healing and attack speed buffs. Mm. Uh, but it is on the, the Aatrox who when he gets up, if he gets another ult off, will be super strong. Uh -huh. Last minute positioning change by Toast. We'll see if Becca was able to match that with the Scion. Nope, far away from the Scion. 
Yeah, this front line that Tosis put forward, trying to engage in combat as soon as possible, and then Bane coming up to do what she can. There's a look so it gets a lot onto the Viger, but he's still really safe. A little bit better of a fight though. The Aatrox hasn't done that much, but I feel like the Vayne's untouched in the back line. Mm -hmm. That's Picking the hard part. Steps. I know, dude! <laughs> I'm top four every game! <laughs> and just like that, from eighth place to first, Toast picks up his first win. That's two light wins now. All right, Don't Toast, worry. you did it. You came through. You pulled it out. You pulled off the win. We all thought maybe Keen was going to pick up the light units after a second, but you picked it up. Yes. So how does it feel to pick up that first victory? <sighs> Feels good with my 100% original strategy that I came up with all by myself. Totally, yes. The TFT mastermind at work, definitely not uh, pulling inspiration from anyone no. in the room. Well, yeah, it was uh, it was dicey uh, with when Keen hit that vein three, and I was at 17 HP. Mm -hmm. But like I said, you gotta lose to win. <laughs> okay, so then with that mentality, you just won a game. So what's gonna happen for your next two uh, games? I guess I'm just gonna keep going lights. And you guys saw what happened to Keen, all right? <laughs> so I'm, I'm not suggesting you go lights as well. Keen, all fours lights. Do you have a <laughs> response to toast? Uh, no. No. No, no, no. <laughs> He's too nice. He's too nice. He's too nice. I'm going to go over to Becca right now because two games where you were so freaking close yeah. to winning, what happened in the end? Was it just the... The dark just can't beat the light. <laughs> <laughs> Played shadow into light both times. But actually, I think I messed up because I leveled mm -hmm. when I should have rolled because I was Ooh. close to some three stars. Yeah, it looked like him just picking up the Lux upgrade towards the end, oh. and then I saw that you had uh, the two-star Scion and then two Scions yeah, and a Master really Yi on the bench. <laughs> but I should have just, I should have, I should have leveled. I have this problem that I already do that, but I'll try to not do that next game. Okay, well, the question I have for you going into the next game, are you tilted right now, or...? Yeah, I'm, I'm a little tilted. You're a little <laughs> tilted. Okay, okay, well, hopefully your chat and everyone uh, at home can cheer you on to make sure that you are tilt-proof going into <laughs> the next few games. As everyone loads up, we're going to throw it over to the casters, who can maybe uh, give us the breakdown of what we just saw. Becca is rapidly becoming the queen of the second place spot. Yeah, it's uh, the worst spot to be in in this kind of format, too. You'd feel great about this yesterday. Not quite the case today. Still hasn't found her first win. I think it's interesting what she's saying about leveling versus rolling there. Um, what am I doing because AoE damage feels pretty worthless versus light when a lot of it's getting healed up. And so finding things like that Vigar to just make sure you're one hitting through a comp feels pretty well, uh, feels pretty good. So I'm not sure, like, I, I need to see it a little bit more. Um, the problem is I feel like Light can, can tech against that. If they see a three-star Vigar, you have a Yorick already, go find a Malzahar and start putting in like some extra summon units and, and, and Nanny or something, and then suddenly you might make the Vigar uh, ineffective. Uh, that's what people were talking a lot about this set and why it feels so good for them, is there's a lot of those kinds of choices where you can make a lot of tech decisions. So if, you know, the Vigar was actually a counter Light, maybe Light has another counter back and you just have to find it. Lights. Win.